Hello there. This is one of the most requested video, Guide to Write a Functional Requirements Document or FRD. This video can help you write your next functional requirements document. With a simple case study, we will discuss what FRD is and all of the sections that a FRD must convey. So stay tuned. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about all our new videos on business analysis. This is a continuation of our earlier video on writing DRD, which you can view by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, let's start with an explanation of what a FRD is. The functional requirements document FRD is a detailed guide that explains how the software works and its useful features to a software user. This document should provide a clear vision of what the business wants to achieve and how your product or service will help them achieve it. The FRD enables business analysts and stakeholders to ensure that the software meets the needs and expectations of the users. In your FRD, describe how users interact with the system and anything on the screen. It also explains what happens when there is an error and how the users can recover from it. The FRD then describes what the system is supposed to do and how users can use it to make their jobs easier. Next, let's understand why a FRD is required. Functional requirements document creates a mutual understanding of how the system should operate between various stakeholders. Users who are knowledgeable about how the system operates are required to provide feedback for the document. They can then offer insightful feedback to assist other users in managing the product. The FRD is utilized by other groups in other areas of the company. Management, marketing, sales, customer service, support and the application development team can all be considered among them. The document addresses these groups differently and takes into account how it reads so that it is easier to understand. What should a functional requirements document include? The FRD should contain these 10 sections which we are going to talk about one by one. Just a caveat, it varies from company to company but in general these 10 sections are required. Let us begin with a case study. Jane is the owner of Vegan Gardens, a good restaurant that serves vegan dishes for the employees of the companies working nearby. Her clients love her food so much that she keeps getting frequent orders for weekday dinners and weekend lunch and dinners for home delivery. Her customers occasionally request that the food be delivered to their workplace if they are stalled at work. She figured that if she had an online home delivery application built, Customers could easily see the items available on the menu. With a few clicks, they could order, pay and indicate their location. The staff could see the ordered items and delivery boys could easily locate the customer's location using map softwares and make the delivery quickly. This is a fantastic additional revenue driver for Jane and also provides customers with great customer convenience to satisfy their needs. Let us quickly discuss the 10 sections of the FRD with this example. We had used the same case study for BRD in our previous video. You can check that out if you have not done so using the link in the description below. Section 1. Author, Change Control and Approvers Any project's functional requirements document is crucial, thus any changes should always be managed by the document's owner. So the first section of the document should outline the name of the author, change control. This lists date, authors and details of any changes made to the document. You can use this data to keep track of any modifications made during the life of requirements document. The approvers, the people who will approve and sign this document, this is typically the customer team. In our case study, Adam Wells is the business analyst working on the project with Jane. He is creating the FRD document using the signed off BRD document. The person to approve would be Jane post review of the FRD. Section 2 Overview 
The objective of the document is to make the end users aware of its significance, importance and benefits. The overview must highlight the crucial goals it must achieve while appealing to the end users or people with little to no understanding. This component of our case study has to include a summary of the requirements for a home delivery application such as the need for the customers to be able to view the menu, place an order and pay with only a few clicks and so on. Section 3 Glossary A glossary near the start of an FRD acts as a referral guide for complex terms. The glossary should have an exhaustive list of abbreviations, acronyms or industry specific terminology used in the FRD. It will help to ensure that both the team and the users can understand what each term means. As you can see from the sample table provided in the slide, it has three terms which can explain the readers of the document what it means. Section 4 Scope Outlining the project scope is crucial. You can avoid scope creep in the future by specifying this. The scope of our case study would require the delivery of application functionality connected to two crucial things. Customers can browse the menu items, order food online and pay utilizing a service oriented application. A staff portal is available for controlling orders received and their delivery on the staff side. The scope exclusions or out of scope objects must also be made clear. In the event of issues, it was determined that the money refund would be processed manually outside of the application and that no system function would be necessary. Section 5 List of Functional Requirements The requirements list will be the most important part of your document. So divide it into sections and headings if possible. The list explains each feature and function that will be included in the system, including what they do and how they operate. Functional requirements document should always align with your business requirements document. Let us take one of the business requirements from the BRD and write functional requirements for it in our case study. Functional requirements are denoted by numbers such as FR1, FR2 and so on. Let us look at BR1. Customers should be able to see the food items that are available for home delivery. We can use these two sample functional requirements for this business requirement. FR1. The system shall display the food items that are available for home delivery organized by category. FR2. When the user clicks on the image or more details button, the system should display more information about the specific item. For each of these functional requirements, you can elaborate on the details of the requirement as well as supporting models which we will cover in the following slide. Section 6 Supporting Models To provide more details, supporting models can be embedded in the FRD which will help the stakeholders to understand the functional requirements better. Visual diagrams such as use case diagrams, activity diagrams, flowcharts, ER diagrams and white frames are examples of supporting models. In our case study, functional requirement number one is that the system should display the food items available for home delivery grouped by categories. We can include a wireframe to assist developers in visualizing the content, image, text, buttons, etc. that should be displayed. We can also add a tabular sheet to provide the mapping between food items and the different categories. We can also use an entity relationship diagram to design the backend tables and to store the information that will be displayed on screen. For each functional requirements, we can add supporting models to elaborate the requirements and provide stakeholders with different perspectives on the requirement. Section 7 Non-Functional Requirements The FRD aims to support any non-functional business requirements including performance, security, reliability, usability, etc. These requirements which are critical for implementing the system or product may require additional details to meet any needs. We can use these two NFRs in our case study. NFR 1 
The system should respond to user's input within 2 seconds. This is a performance-based NFR. NFR 2. During a month, the system should be available 99% of the time. This is a reliability-related NFR. Section 8. RAID Rate This part gives credence to the thoughts and planning that went into the requirements document. Use this part to demonstrate your due diligence before laying out any criteria in the requirements document. Split this into four sections, issues, risks, dependencies and assumptions. It will assist you in developing a more thorough comprehension of some of the issues and risks that the project faces. Section 9. Validation The validation section is optional but can help a functional requirements document. It lists the various test criteria to ensure that the system is functional and is working as intended. Validation is beneficial in ensuring that the business use cases are working as expected. The following are two sample business scenarios based on our case study that the QA team must validate as part of their testing. Number 1. Customer cannot modify the order once it has been submitted. Number 2. Customer has to make an online payment for orders greater than $100. Section 10. Reference Documentation The References section includes a list of any documents, web pages or resources related to the FRD. This section helps to ensure that the user understands what it includes and how it is intended to be used and implemented. In our example, this section could include links to the documents such as Business Requirements Document and Requirement Traceability Matrix RTM created by the business analyst Adam for further reading. Time to summarize. This slide will provide a summary of the 10 sections. 1. Author, Approver and Change Control 2. Overview 3. Glossary 4. Scope 5. List of functional requirements. 6. Supporting models. 7. List of non-functional requirements. 8. Risks, assumptions, issues, dependencies, RAID. 9. Validation. 10. References. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or contribute using the super thanks button. Please share it with your friends. Until the next time.